So this is a tactic video for the Canadian Premier League in Football Manager 2024. I'm currently playing as Atletico Ottawa and we are so close to winning the league. I think we are 10 points clear of the team that is in second place, which is Forge FC. And we've only, well, we have a goal difference of 24. We've only lost six times in the league, which is a lot to be honest. But this is the first time I'm actually going to win a league in my first attempt in North America. It's always very difficult when you're coming here. But we've managed to do it. And as promised earlier this week, I'm going to share with you the three tactics that I'm using and basically the tactics tactical evolution of how I'm able to stay consistent in the Canadian Premier League. You, you're going to notice that there's a blip here where we did lose some games but then we did go on to beat the team that is in second place 4-3 by Forge but before then we had already gotten as many wins as possible to actually stay on top of the league. So our leagues above everybody else like I said 10 points. So without wasting any more time we're looking at the three tactics and the first tactic that I have for Atletico Ottawa was a 4-2-3-1 system and that's because we don't actually have central midfielders. Honestly I looked at my squad and then I notice that most of the players that i have were in the dm position or uh, they were center backs is why i actually came up with the back three but we're going to look at that tactic as the last one obviously because it was what i settled on finally but most of my players were like dms and i had to go on to sign this alberto zapata guy from spain he's already he's a 38 year old spanish defensive midfielder then i went on to sign eli Elidis from Greek football. So he's on loan from FC Montreal in the American League. That's the MLS. So he's also in the team as well. So these are the two players that I brought in to kind of help us. Most of my players were not center mids, or if they were center mids, they were central midfielders on attack. So that you can see this Verhoeven guy, central midfielder on attack. So I had to settle for this 4 2 3 1 system. And then I had complete wing backs in here, but I've changed that now from complete wing backs to normal wing backs on support duty. My goalkeeper is a super keeper on attack. Melvin is in here because my normal goalkeeper is currently injured. He is Nathan Ingram. So he's normally supposed to be the goalkeeper there. 30 year old super keeper on attack. So he's the person that has been playing this role all the while. So that's the role that I have. Looking at the team instructions, out of possession, I settled for a high press and a high defensive line. I did have this at much higher defensive line at some point, but we, were, we started conceding goals. Like I mentioned the blip before. So I had to actually tweak this and then help us win more games in possession or in transition sorry my goalkeeper is distributing to the center backs normally this is normally disabled but because of like i mentioned the blip i needed to just control games more so i did ask the goalkeeper to distribute it to the center backs and sometimes he could distribute it quickly in possession you notice that we're focusing the play down the right because i noticed that one of my top players actually is actually playing in this role and he's a winger on attack so i actually settled for the focus play down the right and then hit l crosses normally is not supposed to be here that's an assistant recommendation but it has been helping us all the while so it's not a permanent instruction but it's an option for you so you can go ahead and select that we're also running at the defense and balance mentality isn't what we're playing is mostly attacking mentality but like i mentioned about the blip if you notice the blip in here we had to just kind of tone things down a bit because we have already gone and scored so many goals before and as much as we're trying to attack teams we just end up scoring and then the team is going to end up defending and then towards the ending of the season or towards the ending of the game we we'll go on and concede and then we draw a match 1-1 so I had to just switch it to balance and have more control over the matches. The second tactic is a 4-3-3 system, but instead of a deep lying forward here, it's supposed to be a poacher on attack. I have a striker that is Salter, Samuel Salter. He's probably the top scorer in this team. So very similar roles. This is not supposed to be inside forward. This is a winger on attack. It's much later I changed it to inside forward because like I mentioned about the blip again, we're tweaking things. But this is the system that we're using now. Again, it was complete wing backs on support, but now with their wing backs on support and since i brought in elidis and zapata they are the ones playing as ball winning midfielder on defend but i did have another center back that used to deputize for me as a defensive midfielder if i can go on and find it now omar dawish so omar dawish was normally my defensive midfielder but you can see that he's a central defender on cover duty so i used to use him here as a defensive midfielder on defend but i've tweaked the tactic a whole lot so that's where we are right now the third tactic is a bit adventurous and a bit aggressive but that's because there are some teams that play in a narrow shape that is a 4-1-2-2-1 narrow it's a kind of let me just pick the team that actually uses that system i think it's cavalry cavalry is the one team that uses that if we look at the tactic the way they set up this is what it looks like so they always kind of beat us every time i don't know why so i just look if you look at the we, we've lost them before 2-0 we've lost to them again 1-0 so i decided that okay we need to find a system that can actually help us win games like that where the opposition is in a very wonky you know off the point tactic so i came up with this um french turkish tactic somehow that's what i'm going to call it is the keg skin football is a turkish tactic that i found on another youtuber from turkey 
and it's been quite good. It has helped us get some results against those um, different tactics. And it, there's a lot of team instructions for this one and player instructions as well. So we're trying not to go into details. Of that. I'm going to attach a link in the description so you can download this tactic for yourself. But most of the roles repeat themselves. There's a wide center back on defend duty and then there's a libero also on support duty. The super keeper this time is on defend and he also has some instructions as well. But in this tactic, the complement back actually stays on support. They also have instructions and I think they're identical. So these are the instructions. Okay, the complement back on the left has the mark title instruction while the complete wing back on the right has the ease of tackles instruction. In defensive midfield, there's a second volante and a roaming playmaker on support. Those are the instructions. And then you have two shadow strikers on attack, which is kind of like the outlet for us with this tactic. And then, of course, the advance forward on attack. Mentality for this tactic is attacking. And then you can see the team instructions, short passing with very high tempo and fairly wide attacking with also running at defense. When we're transitioning, the goalkeeper is distributing to the center backs because we have a good number of center backs and he's also running it out, counter pressing and counter as selected and then of course we have high press and high defensive line much more often trigger press and getting stuck in while preventing the short goalkeeper distribution this being my first season in the canadian premier league it might also be my last season in the canadian premier league i'm kind to look for a job elsewhere so we can go over to the job center and see the open roles there okay these are scout roles but i've kind of added other leagues in mexico and in the mls so in case a job can actually opens up you can check the job security and see which other teams are quite available for us to join so their teams like cavalry themselves and other mls teams they are kind of stable so nobody is really in trouble yet we just have to wait for a moment and then see which club we can go on to join i don't really want to go to the mls i want to go to the mexican league and try to play there because i don't really fancy the transfer restrictions and confusions in the mls but so far so good that's the tactic that i used to dominate the canadian premier league all three tactics remember i'm going to attach a link in the description so you can download them if you did enjoy this video do leave a like on it and also stay in touch for more football manager tactic videos like this and tactic experiments that i've gone on to experience in the canadian premier league i'll see you with more football manager videos like this enjoy your football manager